In this video, we are going to be completing the project plan for assignment number three, technical brief parts one through three. It is going to be a little bit long because there are more than four things that we need to do to complete the technical brief parts one through three. So in the previous video where we introduced assignment number three, you recall there were quite a few articles that we had to look at quite a few videos that we had to watch. So we're gonna put all of that information here so that we can keep track of the steps that we need to take as we complete assignment number three, the technical briefs part one through three. So the first thing I'm going to do in order to complete this is I'm going to go back to the PBL document that lists all of the assignments and their resources and I'm gonna to go to where assignment number three starts, which is on page six. So notice here there is a video. So this is gonna be the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to answer the, think, the two think about questions. So when I go back to my assignment, that's what I'm going to type here. So I'm going to watch the, let me see what the title of the video is. It's titled Setting the Stage with Your Challenge Champion. So watch the setting the stage with your challenge champion video and answer the two think about questions. So the first thing I'm going to do when I get prepared to do assignment number three is I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to answer these two questions. After I do that, I'm going to read these articles. So the first article is why people are falling in love with ugly food. So I'm going to read this article and I'm going to consider how, ugly, how the ugly food movement has impacted food consumption trends around the world. Okay, so... Let me go back to my project plan and do my step two. I'm going to read the, let me see what the title of the article is. Why people are falling in love with ugly food. Why people are falling in love with ugly food article and consider, and I'm just taking this information directly from this document, right? Consider how the ugly food movement has impacted food consumption trends around the world. Food trends. And you'll notice that I kind of made it a little bit short. I didn't write this whole sentence. I didn't write I didn't write all of this. I just wrote how it impacts food trends, okay? The next thing I'm going to do, there's another article, so I need to read this article, Why Americans Lead the World in Food Waste, okay? So here, that's gonna be my step number three. Read the Why Americans Lead the World in Food Waste article. And what does it tell me to do after I read that article? It tells me to Learn about the reason so much food is wasted in the United States. Okay, so I'm gonna read the article and learn about why food is wasted in the US, okay? So, so far, just to complete assignment number three, I've gotta do one, two, three things and I'm not even done. Let's see the fourth thing that I need to do. I need to keep going. Marketing ugly foods, use these resources to learn how some companies are marketing ugly foods to reduce reduce food waste. So then I need to, is this a video or it looks like an article? Yeah, so it's another article. So ugly fruits and vegetables, why you have to learn to love them. So I need to read this article. So for step number four, I'm going to write, read the, what's the name of the article? Ugly fruits and vegetables, why you have to learn to love them. Ugly fruits and 
why you article two so I'm going to read that article and it says I'm going to learn how some companies are marketing ugly foods okay so and So this is going to help me because my job as a student in this assignment is to figure out a way to market ugly foods also to reduce food waste. So by seeing other people's ideas, it'll help me generate an idea of my own for this assignment, for this whole PBL2. Notice I had to add a number five, and I'll probably have to add a number six depending on what else we have. Okay, and then it says, after reading, answer the following questions on your own. There are one, two, three, four. So after reading all the articles, I need to answer the four questions on page seven. So let me go back to my project plan. After reading these, how many articles are there? One, one, two, three. After reading these three articles, answer the four questions from page seven. and i'm not going to be able to actually write directly on this document like i can't type on it so i'm going to have to open a separate google doc to be able to answer these questions okay or i can just write them on a piece of paper somewhere where i'm kind of doing the work for myself and i'm going to walk you through that process just so that you can see me complete the assignments moving forward um, as a tutorial. All right, after I answer these four questions, it's, it looks like there are more things for me to do. So I have another video to watch. I have to watch how great is the food waste problem in the USA. So that's going to be my step number six. Notice I'm having to continue to add spaces. So watch the video. It's titled, How Great is the Food Waste Problem in the USA? So, how great is the food waste problem in the United States? So that's the video I have to watch. After I've watched that, it says, continue your research using the following resources. So then I need to read another article conducting market research, okay? So that's gonna be my step seven. This is why I don't want you working ahead because there are quite a few steps just for assignment three. So read the, what is it called? Um, conducting market research article. Read the Okay, and then after that, then I can do the technical brief, right? And here, notice these videos help me to kind of get an understanding of the overall expectation of PBL2. So I'm going to add this to my project plan as well, okay? Before I even do my technical brief parts one through three. So I'm going to watch three Shark Tank videos, okay? Now, after I do all of these steps, I'm finally able to do my assignment number three. So now I'll write here, complete technical brief parts one through three. Submit in Schoology for credit and grading, okay? So do you see how many things there are to do, right? This is almost a checklist. So I have to do eight things before I can even start answering these three questions. So keep that in mind, okay? This is how you complete your project plan for assignment three. 
This is why we're just doing one at a time, okay? So in the next video, we're going to dive into all of these steps. I'm going to show you how to go through and read the articles and answer the questions and watch the videos to be able to complete the technical brief parts one through three. So stay tuned. Be sure to check out all the videos associated with assignment three so that you can get yours turned in and get the best grade possible.